Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody wanted to know how to figure out to rotate a horse and make it equal around the circle. And I've done a couple of videos like this. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And then, well, there's a lot of things I could do with it. I could take that, hold down my shift key and select the, the outer circle and hit T. And then put it really close and put it to the top. And then I could change my nudge distance. Change my nudge distance to 0 0.01. And we can nudge this down. Kind of get it in the center between those two ellipses or circles. Now we want to figure out how many horses we can get in there. So I'm going to double click on it. And I already put the rotation in the center. I'm using indexing marks. And I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And I'm going to rotate this horse to about there. And you can see it's 19.84 degrees. So that's easily done. Make it 20 degrees and you'll be good to go. That way you can kind of figure that out. So let's take our horse and open up under a range transformation rotation. We're going to rotate it 20 degrees. And we need 18 of them. But we've already got one, so we only need 17 copies. So I've changed it to 20 degrees. And hit apply. And now you have horses around. I think they're doing a plate. And I'm going to have this on the lip of the plate. And if you look, we're really close. But we're not touching. And just for your viewing or for the person I'm doing this for before I would do this I would clean this horse up a little bit let's go back when there's only one horse let's take our let's zoom in here sometimes you'll get a square corner and let's grab the shape tool zoom in a little bit more and you can see that square corner that was from the the edge of the page so I would just take those two nodes and delete them, get a more natural edge. And I'm not going to take the video time to figure out if everything else is good, but it looks good. So go to arrange transformation, Docker, rotation, 17 times. Just always think, so 20 degrees will go into 360, 18 times, but you've always got to remember and it doesn't matter if you hit 18. It'll just put the last one right on top of the other one. But not necessary and uh, don't really need to do it. I don't think it'll, if you're a laser engraver, it's surely not going to engrave it twice because it's right on top of it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.